hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so here i am with the answers tutorials i'll be covering the uh, basic machine techniques for air foils so this is the uh, basic one completely basic to just run the course analysis and all so we can use this kind of meshes to run the highly advanced uh, CFT analysis we can go with the uh, structured meshes okay that I'll be covering in the later session so here in this session if you are going to run the basic uh, CFT analysis on air foils uh, what exactly we can do uh, instead of uh, uh, wasting more time to create the uh, structured meshes so better to go ahead with the uh, simple method okay let's get started with this so initially i had taken the entire model so this will go, this will take more time to just mesh entire uh, model so you could see there is no uh, modules and all so for this what i'm gonna do is i'll just utilize the same model inside the solid box okay and uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll create some uh, refined structure so that i can just mesh it accordingly the finer mesh inside and uh, the coarse mesh in the outside region so for that uh, the better ways you can just edit the sketch and you can use the offset method and you can just select whole method instead of that here you could see i can reduce it you can offset it instead of complete chain you can just select the edges like this and whatever this uh, area you want to consider you can just have it here so this is one method okay so this would be the uh, better one okay the best way to deal with okay so or else what you can do is uh, to have the better uh, refinement at the uh, airfoil area you can create the elif structure there so i'll delete these what you can do is better add a like you can fully define this first i'd like to add the rectangle and then ellipse here i'll go with the uh, corner rectangle so simply create it like this it's just a rough sketch okay so you can define the dimension to just to have it a uh, better orientation i would like to consider the origin and the edge i'll mention it 100 100 from the bottom edge okay so this is fine now let me just add the ellipse to the location where the uh, foil is situated okay so you can even adjust the uh, shape and size later on so like this so you can place it and uh, if you're familiar with the SOLIDWORKS software, you can play around and uh, you can have the better orientation. So you can trim all the unwanted stuff like these things, even inside edges and this. Okay. Now you can just uh, align your ellipse accordingly. Once you are done with this, you can adjust the dimension. So let me just take it as 200. So if you are going to run the transient analysis, so this area might help me to have the vortices and turbulence results. I'll trim this outside section. So this is ready now. Now we can just go back and uh, create the structure for this. So I'll be considering the thin airfoil. Uh, the thickness I'll consider only 0.1. Okay. The region these two. Thickness is 0.1 mm. Fine. So once you create this, you won't be having the split on the surfaces. So for that, you can just search for the tool that is split. So we'll be having the split line 
just select this and here projection selected sketch is already selected just select the face okay so if you select this face here it will only split this face not the other side face can you see this now what I can do is you can simply edit the same split line feature and you can include the other side face as well but even I want the split on this edge you can see there is a small thickness right here also if you want it you can even select that face just edit the split line feature select this done so this is a basic uh, sketch which I can create you can even create the structured mesh for this so, but right now to avoid the uh, time I'll be just considering this okay I have replaced the initial file so once you are done with this you can again switch back to the ANSYS workbench and you can just replace the geometry here I would like to add the new one so once you do that it will be updated everywhere just double click go to the mesh inside the ANSYS fluent okay so here you can deal with the advanced meshing techniques the sizing refinement and all uh, sizing everything is available but right now I don't want to consider more about these things only simple basic steps I'll take so if you do the basic that is default meshing here it may not work as accordingly okay so let's see this is the model right so let me just do this a uh, basic mesh in simply uh, by default mesh so what exactly it's gonna do is you can see here sometimes it will give you the uh, result sometimes it might fail so this mesh may not be accurate you could see there are multiple failed regions so what you can do is you can just uh, clear this particular uh, mesh and you can just uh, recreate the mesh so by using this uh, clear generated data option from this uh, mesh could see you can able to erase that and now I would like to refine it uh, as per my requirement and our requirement here let's simply click on the mesh right click and insert the first thing i would like to do is the refinement at this region okay and here i'd like to add it up to refinement level three only okay maximum and then you can consider the uh life sizing and the element order i'll consider program control this time and uh, in the sizing it is curvature based I would like to have it proximity and curvature and I would like to consider relevant center as fine transition slow is fine so I'll be considering everything as default I'm not going to change anything okay so once you are done with this so let me just add one more that is uh, inflation so it will clear the multiple layers on the face where you want to select so first thing you need to select the geometry okay and then you need to select the face where you want to add the uh, refinement layers so what I'll do is first I'll select the uh, geometry so you can just switch to the uh, wait here I should select the geometry actually In the boundary you need to select the face so I'll do the same thing I'll switch to the body I'll select this body apply there and in the boundary I'll just select this face okay the uh, maximum layers how much you want and growth rate is 1.2 by default I'll keep it same so I'd like to add layers as 20 that's enough okay 
So once you are done with this, you can simply uh, generate this mesh. It will take some time. So if your model is too big, if you are considering uh, uh, what are the model uh, that is like it, uh, the dimensions and all, if it is in meters and all, so I would recommend better go with the uh, coarse mesh okay instead of a fine mesh inside the set okay it's very essential to consider the uh, coarse mesh instead of if you consider the fine mesh it will take uh, hours to complete the mesh and to run this analysis it will take again hours so i prefer coarse mesh okay so once you're done with this you could able to see the refinement level at the airfoil region and at the surroundings as we have meshed this is perfectly okay the disadvantage is uh, you could be able to see at the uh, corners as well it has taken the curvature there also it has meshed if you are dealing with the uh, structured mesh you can avoid these things so to deal with the uh, simple analysis that is the rough analysis in the beginning we can consider this kind of mesh and we can run the analysis to check whether uh, we are going to deal with this approach whether it is fine or not okay well so in the next session i'll be covering the uh, structured mesh so that uh, we can able to do the uh, perfect analysis by using the structured mesh well that's all about this session thank you stay tuned bye everyone